Mr. Daddy, go up to buy a bag for candy and give it out to the children in the park. I don't like where this is going. Hello, welcome back to EY Hime. We're gonna continue. And if you're new to this, why are you watching this one? Go back and watch the other ones first, of course. According to rumors, some of the delinquents were taken to the hospital just to be safe. They could not return to the classroom even by lunch break. I heard she'd been com confined to the guidance counselor's room, given that she was involved in that brawl. The classroom was abuzz with rumors about the onslaught this morning, as well as stories of Kiko's past. Sina got a call from me during lunch. <sighs> there was plenty I wanted to ask her. <laughs> Seeing Kiko had regained her sanity earlier that day, but she insisted she didn't remember the fight at all. However, there were no doubt she started the fight and injured multiple delinquents. What normally would have been a fight between two parties that turned into a one-sided slaughter, Kiko had gotten through with the few scrapes. On the other hand, the delinquents were left bleeding. Seeing the stories of some of them being sent to the hospital were true. Fortunately, they had all kept their silence. They were probably too proud to admit they'd been all that had been thoroughly, so thoroughly beaten by a girl. Sensei now, even though her haunting should have ended when she woke from her daydream, its effects still lingered. やっぱり僕の力が落ちているのでしょうか。スズハラ君の力がこれまでの長い修行の積み重ねで培ったものよ。仮にスズハラ君がここしばらく修行をサボっていたとしても、そうそう衰えるものではないはずなんだけど。う
穏便に済ませるようにいろいろとこれから大人の駆け引きがあるのはいそれでは失礼しますはい。So that they would never suffer just like, suffer like this again. So, I'm going to say, what is it? 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 キコちゃんがそんなことをつぶやいてた気がして9年目って何だろうって思いましてはい。どういうことですか The park was an all you can play paradise for the children in their own personal kingdom. Swings were thrilling and they loved the slides. The sandbox was a canvas to craft castles, cakes right out of the drains, buckets and shovels sent their buckets and shovels, their paintbrushes. This particular park was the biggest one in the area and there was always lots of children playing there. It wasn't just kids, of course. Place was also used by joggers and early folks taking rest and office workers on break. A lot of children played merrily as adults walked over them. The parents could also let the children play with each other with what of fear. So there was nothing odd about grown ups sitting on the benches watching the children play. Furthermore, adults who frequented the park were recognized and accepted by the children. That obese man was such an adult, was one such adult, he was likely in his late 20s or early 30s. He had unusually childlike eyes and would always come to play with the children in the same worn out gray sweatshirt. He was fond of playing with the girls, particularly enjoyed playing house with them.、But、I'm not gonna enjoy this, am I? I'm not gonna enjoy this, am I? The girls wanted to play the part of the mother or, or older sister, but no one was allowed to go to play the father. And so it was that Mr. Teddy took the lead and played that role for them. They all loved him. Shibakiko Harumi was one of the said girls and called him Daddy. There was a snack shop near the park, popular with the kids that sold plenty of snacks for 10 yen. They ranged from salami flavor to salad flavor and even fish flavor. Most Japanese children had snacks like that at least once or twice. Mr. Daddy would often buy a bag full of candy and give it out to the children in the park. I don't like where this is going. That was why they all left him. ただいま、つばきっこちゃんほーら、素敵なお嫁さんはパパが帰ってきたらお帰りのチューをするんだぞ<笑>お帰りのチュー The young girl kissed the man in the tree He reciprocated with a kiss from his own thick lips つばきっこちゃんにもチュー<笑>
こっちをごったいペロペロしたやだ Men who this m a t h e r live in a true. But the little girl knew, who knew nothing of malice at the time to identify that this was at all. Zubakiko chan no shorai no yume wa. Sticky na oyome san ni naruko to da yo ne. Oh, but I see sticky na oyome san ni naru no. Ja, papa to ippe o mama go to de denshu s h i n a i t ne. いっぱい練習しないと素敵なお嫁さんにはなれないんだようんつばきこいっぱい練習するねパーパーと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと言うと A man was scum who took advantage of their innocence to make those girls do whatever he wanted. Yukiko was the cutest among the girls' her age. That was why the man set his eyes on her. Do Candy and Pine House under the name of Wife Training, the maid, were closer and closer to see Yukiko. Being an adult friend also made her feel superior to her peers. It's more she believed that if she could change her to be a wife, her dream would come true. I heard dream to become a wife. Sure, s u p e r k i k o started to sing the man's. But, oh. It was there that her full blown wife training began. I see a fool. Conna go to a stair in the room. Conna go to a stair girl to sticking a oil mess ante. Omit the moral. Hora, hora. Sugutta got your dame da yo, Tsubakiko chan. ツバキコちゃん、僕のお嫁さんになろうよ。ツバキコちゃん、ツバキコちゃん。ツバキコちゃんは、ツバキコちゃんは、横になってるだけでいいからね。いいからね。ツバキコちゃんうりうりうりうりうりうどうしたの落ち着いて。Dude, <laughs> Kiko fell back on her bed, collapsed, and agony clawing at her head. It was like she was trying to tear at her own brain. She and Kiko's mother had seen her like this nine years before, so she knew painfully well what it must have been tormenting her daughter. そのクソデブは最後まで彼女とは友人同士で遊んでいただけだと主張しやがったわグダグダと上告してなおも罪を認めず確定に随分と時間をかけたみたいよその上幼い晴美屋さんは警察などで何度も何度も男にされたことさせられたことを口述させられたわそれがヘドの出ることだったか彼女にとって一番ショックだったことは信じていたものに裏切られたことだったされた仕打ちがじゃない彼女の純真な気持ちが裏切られたことが何よりも彼女を傷つけた。Childish, but she earnestly wished to become the perfect wife. 
She turned to make that dream come true, and Mr. Daddy had generously offered his assistance. Some of it had been strange, unusual, and nigh unbearable, but it was all in order to become the perfect wife. No matter how repulsive his actions had been before, she believed those were wonderful times that would help her fulfill her dream. And one day, the adults only parched and flipped everything she believed in right on its head. Her parents and the police consulted her every time they met and spoke ill of Mr. Daddy. At first, Yubikiko didn't understand any of it, but gradually she came to understand what had been done to her. The moment all negatives and positives in her world were inverted. So this is like PTSD then. From that day on, she was liberated from her suffering. But then she changed completely as if denying everything she'd been, she'd been up to that point. そのフリオグループで彼女の激しい攻撃性はさぞや歓迎されたでしょうね。やがて彼女は彼女らの言うところの伝説、武勇伝を次々に打ち立てていって、新しいアイデンティティの形成に成功した。It goes from private looks a little disturbing to people seeing it for the first time, but it wasn't. That room was a testament to the strength and determination Kiko would wield it to cross out from the depths of sorrow. All I could do was look to the ceiling and fight back the boundless rage and sadness that threatened to spill from my eyes. She chosen to trust and turn to the dream she had sna that been snatched from her as a child once again. <sighs> now I understood what those words had meant. This year is the ninth year. Terrified she must have felt remembering this was the year that his sentence ended. <laughs> Part of it is probably the haunting. I feel like part of it is a haunting. Not all of it, just some of it. Understood now. He was afraid of that man returning once he released from prison. That fear was what truly plagued her. 
その心の痛みをキコちゃんは突然思い出した。Recalling an out of a belief for no reason sounded too good to be true. Kia was a strong girl who faced the pain in her heart over several years. It was hard to believe she just suddenly reverted to fear without any trigger. ごめんハルミヤさっきから後ろばっか振り返ってるぜ自転車に乗ってる時はあまりそういうのはよくないと思うな<笑>ごめんごめん私はいい子いい子だから車が来ないかいつも安全確認を怠らないの<笑>なんかグレートなことでもしたかまるで美好を気にしてるスパイみたいだぜ無理しないで休んだ方がいいの家よりここの方が安全だと思うからえ学校ってほら大勢いるじゃない大勢いればそのえ変な人も暮らししにくいだろうしまさかその男は本当に帰ってきたんじゃ模範囚ならケーキ短縮もありうるわ今年は9年目いつ町に帰ってきてもおかしくない、うん、はいもしもし春宮でございますああどうもどうもすみません今参りますすみませんすみませんごめんね椿子ほら新しい冷蔵庫業者さんが持ってきてくれたのすぐに戻るからちょっとだけ行ってくるわね。Oh, no. どうするお母さんと一緒に下に行く<笑>うん、大丈夫。No, you're not fine. 行ってきて。でも、すぐに帰ってきて。うん、すぐに戻るわね。それまでゆっくり休んでて。As Harumiya left Subikiko's room, a small truck with a refrigerator on its bay was parked outside. Miss Harumiya hurried down the stairs. Nah. And suddenly, p a r e eyes observed that from a nearby alley. Ibukiko heard the clatter of someone trying to open the door. She wondered if her mother was back. They seemed to have trouble unlocking it. That's not. I'm afraid to continue this. Something wasn't right. It was like they were trying to force the lock open with the wrong key. Yukiko's body went numb with absolute fear. It was him. It couldn't, be, couldn't possibly be anyone else. He must have brought a spare key to enter her room. She was sure of it. To call for help, you know, to put the chain up. But going over to the clattering door to put up the chain was scarier than anything else. So all she could do was send frozen in fear. Just then, the door handle turned to the light sound. Slowly opened. Stubikiko was petrified like an animal and s t e n d cornered by a vicious predator. She could only watch as the visitors showed themselves. Her voice refused to come out, she simply flapped her lips like a beached fish. Because the intruder was n o t another t h a n
Okay, so here's why I'm thinking part of it is a haunting because this blob is the same blob that has been in multiple hauntings. So that's where the haunting part comes in. Part like part of it's also obviously re really happening, but visually I think the haunting this is like haunt like a visual just a visual haunting. <laughs> Papa <laughs> 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 And lunch forward and his dirty shoes the moment so he could try to scream. Is the can covered her mouth? Kind of lock the door on the chain at some point. Should be going to her bed as in so stifling her screams. <laughs> her heart she struggles to keep no match for the man's strength and physique. Shall I go surely approach her face? Oh. Enter black and sweats right there. I'll bring you a flash of nightmare that day. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, I can't understand. Where's... Where did the policeman take him away? He was a bad man. Bad man. Who pay? Who pay? Hey, honey, so it's up and out for us. We can go for us. This is where you're like, was a very bad person. He did horrible things to you and called it life training. That I was a bad person? Try that, try that. He tricked you. He tricked him into doing terrible, terrible things with him. And you're, you know, dare he do that to me? He goes, pay, you pay. And he stop it. I was one song of anything. Yeah, that man tricked you. So Hugo slowly staggered to her feet and screamed. Her face was contorted into a mask of ferocity, as it was always, as it always was when she beat back her terror with her age. Regardless, however, that was her strength. Before shook with a rumble, dust fell from the ceiling. A giant blob was creeping down the stairs. The hideous freak of nature was him, no doubt about it. He was trusting that about her appeared in her hands out of nowhere. She raised it and charged. She could go pummel the blob over and over. and groaned and shook each time.
struck the blob again and again and began to find it roar. However, she didn't know if her attacks were working on the talented creature. He only looked as effective as a child hitting something with a roll of newspaper. This week, Kiko didn't use hard for fighting spirit boys fierce as ever. The disgusting blob shape was his obese was his obese stomach she'd seen back then when her eyes only reached up to that level. I don't love this big door because of the impression it left when she saw it that day. She goes about in the salt, turning and sobbing up a abhorrent blob. No one who knew what pain she suffered would tear, tear up with this violent struggle she answered as a sign of how much she'd grown. Watching the reality of the so kind. Her swings grew room slower with time as she, she grasped for air. Even she had no choice except her attacks were ineffective. She's in that challenge from one. Tell him that I sent it from the box. Uh, I swallowed in the blink of an eye, crunching mildly on the metal. <laughs> For sure, this part is definitely the haunting. Well, for war and foul grass, I'm with Kiko. Just then a charge at her like a giant toad. She was overwhelmed by his vast size and blink of an eye. Kiko fought hard, but she had no way of resisting the giant blob leaning over her. How hard she struggled and only drooled home that she was powerless against the blob. Her body was giving out faster than her heart, continued cursing as she fought to keep her spirits from yielding. Blob's drool drooped on her face. Ugh. And as the hideous creature split and time to scratch her own without reserve, she heard her heart shatter. Over Kiko shed bitter tears, she shut her eyes and mouth. Small bit of resistance against the man. Uh, mm -hmm. But she hated to admit it. She knew she didn't send a chance because an adult a man, him. She tried to act tough, but she was a little more than a doll to an adult man, so all she could do was be a doll until he was done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She couldn't stop weeping from the pain and somehow of having her very tiny denied. Eventually the blob stepped back and picked her up. She could resist no farther. After all, she was already a doll. Limbs had become bald jointed at some point. This is definitely the haunted. I remember this from the first chapter actually. The blob bent her joints and played with her like the doll she was. After this, he played. And she was destined to feel such pain, then she was sure it could have been the same as it was that day. The innocent days when she believed that she would become a wonderful one to me, but with the training, she was still as innocent that it wouldn't have hurt nearly as bad. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Calling Daddy her famous to be the wife of this hideous monster. <laughs> <laughs> and of course it has to end there. Well that ends this episode of Iwahime. Oh that one was really tough to get through. But we have that hope at the got that bit of hope at the end with Suzumu coming. Just that little bit of hope and I'm so happy that we were able to end it on that. A little bit of hope after all that from this. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, this, yeah, this one got to me a bit more. Hmm. I don't know what to do for an outro with this one. Subscribe, check out other stuff I've done, I guess. See you next time. Bye-bye.